So it is claimed that in DFTS OFTM uh, the PA pair is reduced. Okay, let us see how that is reduced. Um, first we need to write the block diagram. Okay, for DFTS OFTM. Normally we had what? Normally we had uh, I, I had taken all zeros, right? Uh, so this is a modulation DFT block. So it will be like uh, uh, M point uh, DFT. Then for OFDM, uh, we have uh, uh, endpoint, uh, you know, IFFT block will be there, right? Yeah, correct. See, usually, uh, you know, in DFTS OFDM, uh, M will be less than N. Okay. So for now, our simplicity, what we will do, this will take four point, this will take two point. Okay. So now let us say, you know, it has got only just uh, two values. So, so in this case, case what happens, happens we need to see uh, you know <coughs> what are the values as per our this is a bpsk right as per that uh, the values the samples are one and one these are iq samples um next to m point uh, dft right how does a two point uh, dft matrix look like so one 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 minus one right and uh, my input is one one so if i do how much do i get and let's say even if I take a 1 by square root of 2 as a normalization factor, then it will be square root of 2 and 0. This one, if you take a uh, you know, 2 point DFT uh, at this point, if you see the just a spectrum you see, okay, at uh, we have square root of 2, and uh, then uh, actually we have one more point which is 0, which means my spectrum is something like this, right? So, so, so there is a there is a certain place where the peak is very high, and there is a certain place where you know we have low values. This will have more signal variations. Okay, but if we um, so if we spread this signal and ensure that the signal variations are less, then uh, we can uh, you know ensure that uh, the PAPR is less. So, so let us see, you know, how this, how, you know, it will be seen after the IFFT operation. Okay. So I will take here, my input is a um, square root of 2 comma 0. I will do some uh, zero padding. Okay. Because we need four point. So finally, I have four points to this uh, IFFT block, which is a four point. So, so let's say, say uh, I will put zeros on either side and uh, square root 2, 0. Okay. So, so again, what is my 4 point uh, DFT equation? Then my input is 0, square root of 2, 0, 0. Okay. So then what is the output? So output is uh, square root of 2. Okay. Let us take a normalization factor also into picture. I will say I will turn it here. Now, now square root of 2, then minus j square root of How does um, my power look like? Okay, here uh, almost all of them as the same magnitude. Um, so the peak will be, uh, peak power will be 2. If you take uh, any of the value and uh, let's say for now this normalization Okay, okay, 1 by 4 into 2, two will be the peak power. Then uh, average, average power will be, we have 4 samples. And each of the samples, uh, each of the samples are almost at the same magnitude. Uh, 4 into uh, that much, 2 into 1 by 4, correct? So, 4, 4 gets cancelled. And, and this numerator and this denominator get cancelled. It is equal to almost one. It is what is the comparison? Mm, I mean, uh, the comparison is that. So single carrier uh, BPSK. It was equal to one. And then OFDM uh, when we did uh, to the BPSK system, we got uh, n, which is actually in our case four. But uh, so we wanted to see if we do DFT S OFDM then uh, uh, you know uh, this value will become uh, less so in this case uh, for our example we had seen it is just one right so basically if we draw the spectrum of this okay this one power spectrum then how does it look like 
so power spectrum will be uh, the first value is uh, uh, 2 by 4 which is half right half even the other power is also off all all powers are off actually correct so if you see here the signal variations are less that's what happened right because in the earlier case uh, uh, when we had uh, uh, if uh, after doing DFT we saw that the signal variations are more like the first sample was having a power of 2 the second sample almost it went to 0 so here the variation was signal variation was high so whereas uh, in this case we are seeing that uh, once we do the power calculation we are seeing that power spectrum where you know signal variations are less and hence uh, we expect here that the PAPR is reduced and as per our mathematics also the PAPR is reduced. So now I think you got the concept, uh, you know, how DFTS OFDM is reducing the PAPR.